right, apparently New York Jets quarterback Zach Wilson will not be ready to go. Um, Sunday versus the Detroit Lions. You know, got some games on Saturday, too. So, but Sunday versus the Lions, they playing at MetLife. The Lions going back to MetLife twice this season. So, you know, going to New York, even though it's technically in Jersey. In Jersey. Uh, and uh, East Rutherford, Jersey. But I think it's like a train ride away or something like that. So, um, let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live with our video. Now, there was inklings that, excuse me, there was inklings that, you know, he could be starting. I kind of uh, figured because Mike, you know, Mike White really got beat up uh, last uh, game versus the uh, Buffalo Bills. They did a number on him, and uh, they were saying, well, he will play and all this type of stuff, and that was just to keep the Lions off balance. That's all that was, was to keep the Lions off balance and keep them guessing and all that. But I think they knew he wasn't going to be able to play in uh, – like I said before, uh, Keyshawn uh, Johnson said on a morning show with uh, Jay Will, Keyshawn, Key and Jay Will, and, uh, and Max, he said that, uh, shit, running like, I don't care. But he says that uh, that he heard in the spring that Mike White was the superior quarterback. Uh, in, in the spring that English was coming out that Mike White was better than uh, Zach Wilson. Now, a lot of people don't know Zach Wilson, his uncle is the owner of JetBlue or something like that, so... Most people say he entitled, and some of that did come up in the draft process, but what covered that up was that they said his teammates loved him. So, it, you know, it wasn't like he was a, a rich, preppy, arrogant kid. They said his teammates loved him. And they would run through a wall run through a wall for him, you know? Um, so, you know, that, that wasn't an issue, and obviously that's kind of changed after the, the comments, and the media walked him into comments like that, and now... You know, I've seen a, a lot of talent on film. I was a huge uh, Zach Wilson guy coming. Up. I thought he was right there with Trevor Lawrence. The arm was tremendous. He was a solid athlete. Maybe not the athlete Trevor Lawrence was, but the throws that he could make. Um, and going to New York, not for everybody. I mean, BYU is in Utah, so that's West Coast. So I'm not sure exactly where he's from. I'm going to go ahead and guess he's a West Coast kid, and that wasn't the best spot for him. But, uh, you know, I think he's still dangerous, though. You know, and the Lions, you know, you know, I see Lions fans, you know, uh, when this guy injured, yes. No, you want to beat these dudes at the best. Get, get that mentality out your head where guys injured or they're not this strong of a unit and, oh, we got a better chance to beat them. No, you want to beat guys at, your, at the best. That's how you know you're really on the rise. Forget all this quarterback out or this running back out or this star DB out or this guy hurt. Forget all – take that mindset away. You want to – we want to be able to go into – on the road and beat you um, with your best players. So if Mike White was the best quarterback to go, so that's who I want to beat the Jets with. We don't need no sympathy. Detroit, we had it the hard way being Lions fans. and still do. We had it the real hard way. So at the end of the day, give us the give us the give us the steady diet of the best. That's the only way we're gonna truly know. Not you know playing teams that's hampered or playing teams that's compromised. But Zach Wilson is still a top two talent you know in a draft. He still, he still is the number two overall draft pick. Jesus Christ, man. People that be driving out here. You know, but he is still a top two pick. And I think he still, you know, got the ability. I do. You know? And he gonna have something to prove. He knew he was probably gonna be the starter. They told him, so he started preparing. I'm not worried about Russ. Or none of that. They've been playing this game since they was kids. But he gonna be he he gonna be out there to prove something. His job on the line, bro. His livelihood on the line, even though he's rich. He come from a wealthy family. But you know what I'm saying? His his dream of being an NFL quarterback on the line. So you might go out there and get the absolute best. And his season starting to change when um his season started to change kind of when Brees Hall went down. You know, so honestly, I don't know, you know, how hard he been working behind the scenes, hitting the film. Uh, uh, what soul searching that he been doing as a pl as a person? Forget as a player, as a person. Because when you go through trials and tribulations and, and turbulence in your life, it's about you soul searching as a person. You know, you got if you ain't gonna be real with, with, with you know if you gonna be real with yourself, who you can be real with? People ain't gonna no people ain't gonna respect you. You know, 
So that's one thing I always try to say, man. I look at situations and I always try to keep it real with myself. If I was I wrong, or I, I could have did this better, or maybe I shouldn't have did this. You know? That's how I look at it. But if I can't be real and be honest with myself, it, it, you know, how I'm gonna make it through the, the, the stormy days? You can't improve as a person. A lot of people don't think, a lot of people think that uh, everybody else is wrong. You wrong, I know I'm right. You wrong, you wrong, you wrong, you wrong. I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. I mean, a lot of people think like that. For sure, a lot of people think like that. Don't accept responsibility. But how can your kids respect you? How can you be the, you know, man or woman, you know, that leads your household or, or raising kids? How can they respect you? Come on, man, get out the way. You see the ambulance coming and you doing the speed limit, like oh, below the speed limit. You know, so I man, quite frankly, man, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know how they, you know, how he gonna recover and how he gonna bounce back. But you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be interesting to see how he bounces back as a, uh, as a person, as a man, because this could either make him or break him. You know, this can either make him or break him. But I'm looking. I'm looking forward to him having the best performance. And you know, we don't really have a great track record against backup quarterbacks either. But you know, is he a backup? I know people would ask. He was the original starter, and it seemed like they gave him the starting job. And for Keyshawn David, Keyshawn Johnson to say is true that he heard Mike White was the superior quarterback all, all, uh, all you know, spring and, and through training camp, summer into the preseason. So I don't know. I don't know, but. Like I said before, you know, we want to be God, people at their best so we can get better. Um, you know, and you want to be able to beat the Jets with Quentin Williams and all them out there. They a tough, physical football team. And they got the next man mentality up. That's kind of how they are in San Francisco. It's the next man up. You know, and they, they ask, like I say, because they got Christian McCaffrey. He's staying healthy. You know, he be the difference over there. Kyle Shanahan, hell of a coach, by the way. But, uh... But, um, I mean, it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think about uh, Zach Wilson starting. Uh, Mike White out. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live and drop a video. Financially, want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, or Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Yes, somebody out here in the motorcycle in this snowing. But peace.